Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am pre-filming this because when you're watching this, I am likely already on my holiday or heading on it very, very soon. I just wanted to have a few videos up to cover me for while I am away. So in this video, don't mind my dodgy printing, but I'm gonna go through how I set up for my fortnightly paycheck stuffings. I also have a little bit of bonus money here that I'm going to stuff at the end of this video. So I'm just gonna pop this off to the side and I'm just gonna quickly run through my process and how I make it all work. So I do myself a monthly budget because I am paid monthly. This is for the month of May. This is in no way going to be neat writing or anything like that. So please excuse that. I'm, I never share my income on here um, it, so what I usually do is just break this up into some of the amounts and go from there so what I'm going to focus on today is my savings and my sinking funds so this is for May I'm actually going to stuff that money in my next video so you'll see the progression of how I figure this out and then actually stuffing the money as well so my big priorities in May this is my obviously my last pay before I go on holidays so my biggest, I guess, priority is going to be adventure and putting the last little bit of money in there that I possibly can. Normally I would have a line down here and I'd break this up into each fortnight, but because we're just doing this for the total month, I'm just gonna do the full amount. So what I'm doing for the month of May is $120. If I was going to break my stuffing video down into two lots, I would then have, you know, 60 60 or however I might want to do that but $120 this month is going into adventure now my next one the rest of these are now in no particular order uh, but my goal is to save $100 a month to put towards my new phone so I'm going to put $100 this month in normally you'd see that I'd split this up into 50 50 or 60 40 something like that uh, my next big priority is going to be my phone plan. So I only need $20 to fully fund that one. So we're just going to pop $20 in there this month. Uh, next off the rank is going to be RAC. Now I have a tiny bit of extra money this month because I'm not putting any money away into my tax. So I've distributed a little bit of money into some of my other um sinking funds just to try and get them a little bit ahead and all the rest so normally i would put ten dollars a month into rac but for this month i'm actually going to put twenty dollars in there so i'm going to double that for this month uh, what have we got next let's do christmas and let's do black friday so i like to combine these on the same line so normally I would put, I think it's $50 into Christmas and about 40 into Black Friday. But what I'm gonna do this month, I'm going to put $70 into Christmas and I'm gonna bump Black Friday up for this month to $50. So just a little bit of extra money going into both of those ones. Now, beauty, I'm not planning on doing anything, not planning on doing any laser or anything like that. I know I already have $150 in that envelope, so that is sitting pretty pretty. Um, so this month I'm just going to put $40 into that one. Now I need to put money into my car servicing and car rego fund. Normally I do $60 each, so $60 for rego, $60 for car service. But because I've got that tiny bit of extra money, I'm putting in $140 this month to that one. Uh, same with my health. I have sort of had that one just having a smaller amount, like $50 or $80 a month. Uh, but this month, I'm actually going to give that one $100. I've got a little bit of money banked up, obviously, in the bank. Uh, but I want to try and prioritize that one a tiny bit more now that I'm especially next month you know adventure i'm probably only going to put like 50 dollars total for the month so this is going to come down heaps and then i can sort of bump health up really good i might actually start to prioritize both of these car and health because i've got i know i'm going to have rego due in august 
and I've also my next car service I'm gonna have to do my brakes and probably my timing belt so that's gonna be quite a big expense so I want to start preparing for that hope for the worst pray for the best that sort of deal um so the last couple of what do you want to call them? Um, sinking funds. I've got seasonal. I've got fun. And I've got home. And I've got office. So seasonal for the month of May. I'm just going to pop $40 into there. Fun. I'm going to just pop $40 as well. So it would normally work out to be $20 a fortnight. And then home and office, I'm going to combine these two. I'm going to do 30 and 30. So that's going to be $60 total or $30 for each envelope. Now what I like to do very quickly is just take my binder and do a quick little run through. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Hopefully that's not too glary up there. So we've got bills, we've got our high priority, we've got health. We've got Christmas, we've got Black Friday, moving into the low priority, gifts. I haven't done any money for gifts this month, but I'm okay with that. I've got $130 in there. I have a birthday, I've got two birthdays in July. So I'll make sure I put some money in there in June and in July because the birthdays aren't until the very, very end of the month. And that's gonna be plenty for those two people. We've got RAC on here. We've got prepaid or phone, which will be fully funded. And I'm very, very excited. I don't usually put any money into household because this $50 just sits in there. I rarely ever touch it. I have a household slash miscellaneous fund in my weekly variable expenses. So I might actually even take this money out and put it somewhere else because to be honest, I don't ever touch it, so it just sort of feels like a waste to have that in there. Maybe I'll take this $50 and put it into my manifestation binder or something like that. Just see if I need it. Uh, beauty, we've got beauty on the list here. And then we've got at the back here, tax, which is currently fully funded with $400. So that is very excited to have that one done so well in advance before that's even due. And then the last one I like to go through is just here in my fun binder. So we've got adventure. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. We've got fun down the bottom. We've got office and we've got home. We've got seasonal on there and we've got Samsung, Samsung on there as well. So I have covered off all of my necessary envelopes that I want to be putting money into. So let's just give this a count up because hopefully... This should equal $600 that we will be stuffing for this month. So 120, 120, I like to jump through these. 70, 50, got 180 there, we've got 140 there, and then we've got $100 there. Beautiful. All right, so $800 there, that totals up to be. So I am very happy that that has worked out. Lovely. All righty. So that is how we're going to be stuffing our paycheck or portion of our paycheck for the month of may so i'm going to leave this off to the side so I, because i will need that very shortly and then what i have here is some bonus money so this is from the completion of my 50 dollar coin challenge i also have some miscellaneous money that i have made you know just from like marketplace sales, dropping my brother off and he pays me sort of thing. I just keep a little note of how I've made that money and all the rest. And I've got marker all over me for some reason. So let's give this a count and see what we're working with because all of my bonus money at this point in time is going into my 50 envelopes and we are getting so, so, so close to getting that one done. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars to put today into this envelopes challenge. I don't know how I'm going to work 80 dollars out. I might do I've got I've got a little IOU, yeah. IOU slip there. So 
let's see how we can do this. I need my Sharpie. Okay, so if I do $30, yeah, 30, that means I can color off two of my $15 envelopes. And if I can do another $30, that means I can finish off all of these 15 envelopes and now we are down to purely 10s and 5s. So I am very excited. I have $20 left over here. So let's jump up here and colour in this guy and let's do this one here as well. So we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 100. I think we've only got $110 left to go. Let's count this all up and let's see how we are sitting. So let me just sort this out. There are so many 20s in here. That's crazy. Let's grab these 20s. I'm making a mess of this. I don't think I have any 10s. I do not. So let's add those into here. I'm so excited to finish this challenge and to reallocate this money. I have no idea what I'm doing with it, so I really need to start thinking about that. Got five dollars in coins here, but I'll add those to the tally at last. So we've got one hundred, two hundred. I'm gonna drop this fifty. Two twenty, two forty, two sixty, two eighty, three hundred. 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 490, 500, 550, 560, 570, 580, 590, 600, 610, 620, 630, 635, $640, so yes, the math is nothing today for me, hallelujah. We have $110 left, and this guy is fully funded. So I am very, very excited for that day to come. I feel like I have been working on this challenge for quite some time. It's the first time I've ever done a 50 envelopes. I do have the 50 envelopes on my Etsy, but I also have a 26 envelope which I'm actually really excited to try once, maybe once I've finished this one. But yeah, 600, what did I say, $610? Yeah, $610 in there. I am very, very excited. That is coming along very nicely. That's all done. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have made it all the way to the end, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave me a red heart in the comments and I will see you very soon in the next one.